Many now speak of an African growth miracle. Education is on the rise, there are significant improvements in health, many African countries are moving towards democratic rule, and perhaps more importantly, African businesses are becoming stronger and more confident with remarkable stories about African entrepreneurs. Despite the recent growth, there are still large differences in education, consumption, well-being, opportunity across African countries, but also within countries across African regions, Africans adhering to different religions, African ethnic groups. African history is extremely complex. Centralized states with strong institutions had emerged even in the midst of the slave trade. In addition, colonial legacy is that of extraction and repression that impeded development. It's also that of human capital investments that positively impacted social mobility across the continent and had facilitated political mobilization against colonialism. At the Wheeler Institute for Business and Development at the London Business School, we have curated, designed an open access interdisciplinary mini lecture series looking on African economic history. The course will feature and cover exciting recent research on African economic history. This research often digitizes colonial archives, anthropological maps, data locating European influence during colonization at a very granular level, and connect them with contemporary proxies of development and civil conflict. Purely economic analyses and interpretations alone are not sufficient to understand the diversity of ways in which Africa's past continues to affect its contemporary development. We are thus inviting guests, scholars from other disciplines, political science, history, cultural anthropology, psychology, in an effort to have a holistic viewpoint and take insights from all parts of social sciences. We're going to zoom into several specific case studies, but we will never forget to zoom out and try to see what we learn for, for the continent as a whole. We'll cover specific topics, including prison labor, taxation, concessionary companies during the colonial era, but we'll always be asking, so what does this mean for actually today, Africa, as of 2020, 2021? In these lectures, we hope to uncover new substantive methodological advances in African economic history. We also hope to discuss lessons learned from the past that should inform development policies today. As we say in Benin, is at the end of the old strings that you weave the new ones. We look forward to welcoming you all in this innovative and we hope very exciting course.